gracias te damos, Señor, gracias te damos por este día tan especial que tú nos has hecho, Señor. Oh, I felt that it was a God that she should go up there for them to pray for her. 
And she kept saying, no, 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 no. So I said, okay. So I started to pray there by myself on my feet. And I grabbed her hand and I grabbed Ali's hand and I started to dance in the spirit, sitting down. And I could just so see me shaking and crying and crying and crying and crying. And, for, and then after all that, and the service was awesome, and you know, God was moving, and it was on fire, like it is today here. And then all of a sudden, I'm sitting there, everybody saying bye, I couldn't get up. But I knew who the devil was trying to attack me for getting up. Because as, as you all know, I had epilepsy. So that day, the devil tried to attack my body. So he thought I was going to sit there and take it. Even though I was falling and I couldn't feel my legs on my back, I felt like I was paralyzed. I couldn't move. And I said, uh-oh, oh no, this is not how it's going to go. From the moment that I let myself go, and people had to carry me out of church, and I said, no, 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 no. You're not going to do this to me. And I'm there fighting and fighting there the whole way to my house. I had to hold on to the elevator because I, the elevator, um, thing, cause I thought I was going to fall down and my legs kept going numb. I'm like, no, this is not going to, no, this is not, nope. I don't accept this. And I kept fighting. Even my mom that probably goes to church, and said, oh, I'm going to go to And I'm like, okay. <laughs> So I'm laying in the couch, and for a moment there, my whole right side of my body, I couldn't move. I was sick. I was stuck. And I was thinking to myself, either do I let this beat me, or do I beat it? And I said, God, I know you're standing right next to me, but I'm going to fight this, and I need your help. And I'm there rebuking, and my mom just started rebuking and rebuking, and I'm like, where's this coming from? But I'm like, amen. And as I'm rebuking, and it's going away, God showed me this vision. And that's what just pulled me up. I'm laying there and I'm and I'm there, God and God and all of a sudden I see this vision of my sister. My sister's in the club dancing. You all know she likes the club a lot. She's dancing and she takes a drink, boosts to the floor, she's dead. I call my sister. I tried calling my sister but I couldn't and I'm like, Mommy, mommy, I just saw something. She said, What are you talking about? You going crazy now? She goes, I'm not gonna lie, check it, just I'm gonna look her. I'm like, I'm not going crazy. I know what I'm talking about. I said, dial my sister's number. And I'm there again, and I'm putting my sister, and I call my sister, and I'm like, Mike Kelly, I can hardly talk because my right side of my mouth is sick. So she's like, I'm not understanding what you're saying, what are you saying? I say, if you're dressed, you can't undress. Won't you pray instead of going out to the club? Because if you go out to the club, they're going to be the last day on this earth. And she said to me, what? She said, okay, I'm going to sleep. I told you tomorrow because I can't understand what you're saying. I said, don't go out your house. So we step foot in your, out your house. And I told her, you need to change your ways. The way you're living your life because that's not going to take you anywhere. And I told her, you know, every time you complain about how sad you are and how you never have nobody around, that's because those people are only there to party for one moment. Come on. See you later. Come on. And when you're there crying by yourself, who you got to call your mom, your sister, or somebody that, that knows that can help you, that can yeah, actually give yeah. you something that's worth you listening to. Because mm-hmm. the other people just go, oh, don't worry about it, go, go get drunk. That's the solution to the problem. That's not. When you have to be drunk and you throw up and you wake up in the morning and you drink a stool, they won't still be there. And they're not. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So my sister was like, alright, I'll just stand up here and I'll just go and watch TV. So okay. So I go, I, try, I attempt to get up. Well, I don't attempt. I, say, I said that I'm going to get up. And I got up. Yeah. And I said, God, I'm going to go to my room. I'm going to go lay down and I'm going to be fine. So I got up. I'm like, who's going to get up? I said, no, 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 no. I'm not walking alone. I'm walking with God. Don't worry about it. I walked straight to my room, straight. My face straightened up. I was fine. I laid in my bed and I fell asleep. And then I started to have a dream. And my niece was in there and she was running around or something in the dream. A little, and, and then all of a sudden, I looked to my right and I'm like, what happened? She's in a coffin, a coffin, in a white coffin in there like this. That woke me up. I got up, I told my sister again, are you home? She's like, yeah, I'm home, I'm sleeping, what's the matter? I said, all right, and where's Kelly? She's like, oh, she's sleeping. I said, okay, good. She was like, yo, you going crazy today or something? I said, nah, this is God talking to me. And I told her, she should be here today, but she's not. My mom says, keep praying for her. You know, mm-hmm. that's the only thing we can do. I yeah. tried to drive, you know, she, there's times that I don't have to tell her to go to church. There's days that she told me, you don't really want to go to church. And I just want to tell you guys that even though I'm not young and I'm married, for those that are young, as much as you think, that farming and all that drinking stuff is going to stop. Because I'm not telling you when I'm perfect, because I'm not. Because I fall too. <coughs> and it's hard for me because my husband and I to do those things. So I get stuck in the middle and I have to figure out what I'm going to do. But at the end of the day, when you end up doing those things, I probably, when I go, I stay there and I'm like, what am I doing here? I know I'm not supposed to be doing this. And the next day, I don't even want to get to 